Hello and welcome to this Affinity software tutorial. It is aimed at any of the Affinity programs, be it Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, Affinity Publisher. I'm going to be doing this all in photo, mainly because I feel more at home in photo. And it all came about from a question I saw in a Facebook group, which is obviously from a, somebody new to one of the programs, wanted to know what this white circle with the red line in underneath the color options what that was for and they, they did answer the question in the Facebook group but just in case there's anybody else out there that wants to know it is basically for have no color because the color options you have up here by default are black and white the white one being the foreground or fill color the black being the background stroke or outline color. They're called different things in different parts of the program. There is also an option in the, say, like the swatches panel here where you have, this time it's a square with the red line going through it. It's a bit like a traffic signal where you get a red line going through something. It's like no entry or no way. This just means like no color. And come back to the color tab. Um, you can see that a bit easier because there's no other colors to distract you. Now there are various other places where you can get this no color option. So if I come down to the rectangle tool, as you can see the default color, the fill color like I said here is white and the stroke color is set at black so I want to make this sort of a red color so I'll just click on here and I personally um, prefer to use the hex sliders but you can use whichever version of the color picker you want so I'm going to come and make this red like that and then just draw out a new layer which has now been added here and as you can see that color has also been added here as well as up here so basically that's a you choose the color and if I click on this no color option here it will take all the color away so basically you've got either absolutely no color or you can go back to uh, like a hundred percent color so if I just click on the swatches for example the recent red that I just selected is been added up here if I click on that I will get the red back so I now want to draw a circle layer on top of this and if I come to the ellipse tool. If I wanted to make this blue and I went up here to change the color to blue, because this layer is highlighted it will change the background to blue even though I want it to be red. So what you would need to do is to come off of this layer and the easiest way to do that is come to the move tool and then just click anywhere outside of the document you have open and it will take away the outline and it will no longer be highlighted here so I can come back to the ellipse tool pick my color which is going to be blue it's a random dark blue like that and I'm going to hold down the shift key so I get like the perfect circle and we now have two layers one red one blue one square one circle so I'm just going to center this you could come to the move tool and do it manually or come to the align tool and just center both vertically and horizontally so again you could just click on the no color and take the blue away but in this particular case why would you want to do that so what I will now do is add a stroke or outline as you can see 
the stroke color is set to black but it is also set on none it's got this red line going for it so if I click on this button here you have three options the well four actually the first one being no line color or style solid line style the dotted line style and the last one is texture line style which I think only really comes into play when you have a tablet and a pen so I'm going to come to the solid line color you won't really see too much at the moment because it's by default it starts off at 0 0.2 so if I raise the width you can see the outline color gets quite thick let me just make this 10 for now so we then have that set at 10 and if I wanted to then take away the blue inside for some whatever reason let me just close that make sure that is a blue layer that is highlighted I could click on no color and as you can see the outline stays there as you can see up here the fill is set to none but the stroke is still set to black let me just put that back to blue and I'll come back to the stroke options if I come to the dotted line style you can see we've got this dotted line effect you can alter the effect by altering the numbers down here at the bottom but I'm not going to do that I'm going to leave it as it is just to show you the no fill option now these are not necessarily strict serif terms they're just what I'm choosing to call these so if you have the white disc or square with the red line going through it that is like no color it takes all the color away in sort of in one go now no fill is like the opacity so you could change the opacity of a particular layer from the layers panel and you've got the opacity and as you can see you can alter the opacity so I've put this on 50% it's affecting both the fill and the stroke equally and as you can see the red background is starting to show through so it changes the color of the blue another way to change the opacity of the fill and to my mind it's a slightly better way of doing it is to come to the FX it has got this icon down here in the pan uh, layers panel opens up the effects panel and down the bottom here you have the fill opacity now why I like to do it from here is let me just drop this down to zero because once you've got it down to zero like that as you can see the opacity over here in the layers panel still reads 100 but doing it this way you do then have the options of adding things like outline and if I just click on the word outline if I raise this up you can now see we are although the pixels aren't visible the program knows where the pixels are and it is adding an outline around the outside of those pixels you just raise this up to about 8 make that a bit more visible and close that come off there so, you'd, so you get this sort of quite nice design that you can add things into and just by adding an outline to a layer that you have made no fill as opposed to no color because if you make it no color you take all the pixels away and the program wouldn't know where the pixels were but with no fill the pixels are still there they're just not visible I hope that makes sense another good way of using this option if I come to this image here if you want to make a sort of, sort of clip art type image of this if I come to the effects and like before 
make that no fill you could for example add a color overlay give you the silhouette effect or like I did before come to outline and just raise the outline and get a sort of a, an effect like that so that is two ways that you could use the no fill option so let me come back to this now there is a also no color options with text so let me come back and I'll come down to the artistic text tool and I will just type my name like that and I will just center this and I will add another text layer at the bottom and I'll just center that but I will just raise this up slightly right there we go let me select the top layer uh, my first name layer I should say and as you can see if I come down to the back to the text options the color for the text with the font color is set at black and there is no sort of quick and easy way of seeing that where the stroke or outline color is but you can access them from the character panel which is this A button here so if I click on that we have the character panel and as you can see here there are four no color options if I put the cursor over the top it will be background color underlying color stripe through color and outline color so if I just click and highlight this text here if I click on the background color and I select a yellow just come off like that so it's visible so it, as you can see the background of the text has become yellow but I will make that back to no color now the underline you can have a single underline or a double underline I'll go for the single and then again select the color we'll go with yellow again I'll come off that so you can see what it looks like we we'll just raise this up a bit so it's not there we go come back to the text tool and I will highlight my surname and this time you've got the single strike through or the double strike through I'll go with the double select the color for it again I'll go with the yellow because it makes it stand out and so there you've got the underline and the strike through where you can pick the color but like I said by default they are set on no color so one last bit of text I will add on here let me just right let me just center that that way in fact I can probably center it the other way as well there we go so that is now centered what I will do is I'll highlight all the text make that centered and this time I'm going to change the strike color the stroke color I should say which like I said before is very similar to the outline of a shape it is set on none so you've got the 
same options here of the solid line, the dotted line. But I'll go with the solid line and I'll change the color to white and then just raise it up slightly not too much probably about one point almost one point of 0 0.8 I'll leave that on come off of that so there you can see you can change the default no color to a certain color or if a color has been set you can alter it to no color and you have the no fill option which will take all the color away but it, the pixels will still be there so you could make the outline of a shape similar to that so hopefully this will help and give some people some ideas of things they can do and like I said this is mainly aimed at people just starting out in any of the free affinity programs so thank you for watching and goodbye